Rings of Power was a sad excuse of a Lord of the Rings series. Amazon took such an amazing franchise and decided to smash their agendas into it, thinking people would shut up and consume product, and we didn't. We fought back against this awful show and railed into every little issue that it had, and we were called ists for it, but now that the PR machine is starting back up for season two, cast members are attacking us yet again, calling us awful things for criticizing this bad fan fiction, and the media is defending them. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and to the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube member. Memberships. So starting off with this very bad CBR article, Rings of Power stars slam racist trolls who oppose diverse castings. Of course, if you criticize this show in any way, shape, or form, you're a racist troll. That's what the media has been saying. That is what they will continue to say. They are using these actors' diversity as a shield. It says the Rings of Power was well-received by viewers and critics upon its debut last September. The show has, however, suffered backlash from toxic fandom for the racial diversity of its cast, and some cast members are firing back. This is a straight up lie. This show was not well received by critics, it was not well received by viewers, and while critics have rated it higher, they still did have issues with it, and viewers absolutely hated this show. Unless you were a Tolkien normie, then maybe you found some enjoyment in it. I tried so hard to find something in this series that I actually liked and could find basically nothing, um, but it wasn't just toxic fandom that attacked the racial diversity of the cast. We attacked every little thing. It wasn't, you know, just, oh my god, we are racist, so we're gonna, you know, to say this show is the worst thing ever, that's not the case. But of course, the media is trying to paint it that way because they want to completely ignore all of the real issues that we had with this show. I mean, judging by the Rotten Tomato scores, People did not love this. Even the critics gave it an 83%, which is far from perfect, but audiences, over 25,000 ratings, have it currently at a 38%. That is a Abysmal. We know that Amazon has shoved a lot of money into this show, namely over a billion dollars. We are hearing that now it is, you know, getting pretty close to the two billion mark for, you know, season one, season two, and the rights. But I don't see a way that they can fix this series and make it good. And this is not just because of racists. I mean, it is infuriating actor Owen uh, Arthur told Variety at this weekend's Monte Carlo television festival. Arthur plays Dwarven Prince Durin in the series, one of the actors that I thought did a relatively good job with his role, may I add. Like, you go, oh god, really? Are we still there as a human race? That drives me wild. The guys have been through a lot. To be on the receiving end of things, and I hope one day we will as a human race just be one, I mean, it sounds kind of maybe pathetic or dramatic what I'm saying here, but genuinely, just stop racism. That's it, guys. This actor asked us to stop racism, and clearly that's what's going to happen. He is acting so dramatic in this, okay? We've also had, uh, you know, the Queen Regents actress come out and say, what I'm looking forward to as we move on to season two is allowing that conversation to be in the past and just plow ahead. When you have progress, it's like we're not going to go backwards from the things that we've established. I'm ready to acknowledge it and move on from it because I think we've kind of said all there is to say, really. I know that I have. It is 
rich that she is saying we've just gotta you know allow the conversation to stay in the past and plow ahead even though she's going into interviews bringing the conversation up again so that articles like this can be written about her and about the series you know if you guys really just want to leave the past in the past then just do that just leave the conversation in the past because again these people have completely ignored the real reason why this show has been criticized and they've just boiled it down to being racism even though that's absurd they can't acknowledge the fact that people are upset that there's a lot of new characters in this show that they throw out the source material that they decide to change the essence of who characters like galadriel are the fact that the costumes look really cheap and you know like their cosplay like their poor cosplay may i add this is a bad lord of the rings fan fiction and they just are completely ignoring the real criticisms because of course they cannot accept the fact that they are part of a show that just hasn't caught with audiences Actor Ismail Cruz Cordova received threats and have faced other direct attacks. We've heard this many times that all of the cast members have received uh, threats and awful messages, and I'm sure that they did receive some, you know, uh, comments that do veer into the territory of you know, harassment and deep-seated hatred. I'm not saying that they haven't received any comments like that, but at the same time, I think that the vast majority of comments they've received have simply been criticism, and they can't accept that. We've seen no screenshots from the Queen Regent actress, from Arendir's actor, who is Ismael Cruz Cordova, from Disa's actress. We've seen no real proof from these people, yet they have continuously spouted this that oh my god direct attacks and threats and harassment but they're not showing any sort of proof and of course it's not just the actors that are calling critics of this show racist the you know executive producer had also said the same exact thing basically everybody behind this project has done their very best to attack anyone who has said i don't like it or i have issues with it and that's not a way to build a fan base for something i went into rings of power and i did watch it i tried to give it a chance because, of course, I'm talking about it online. I want to be able to have a genuine opinion. And I wanted this series to be good for years, years ago when it was announced. Uh, I wanted it to be good. And I hope that they didn't, you know, basically trash all of Tolkien's amazing writing. But unfortunately, they did. And we criticized it. And they couldn't accept that. I'm sure as we get closer to season two, we are going to see even more absurd articles like this the media trying their very best to defend this show and these cast members who don't actually want to listen to real valid criticism surrounding their characters and this series but yes this is happening yet again we are being called racist trolls for criticizing rings of power but that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.